Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about the X1 Smart Remote. This remote from Sofa Baton is trying to be the end-all be-all remote for you for your entertainment system. I'm talking about controlling your TV, your cable box, your Android TV if you have an Android TV box, um, your Xbox system if you have one of those, as well as your sound system. So a whole bunch of capabilities and the ability of even adding more with the X1 from Sofa Baton. This is TK and let's go ahead and check out what we can do with this one remote. Can it really replace and control everything we have? Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So here is everything that you get in the package. The box that I received was a pre-production white box, so unfortunately there's nothing special there. But we get the remote. It has an internal battery that is charged via USB-C here on the bottom. The display here that we're able to control, it is not a touch display, but it is controllable uh, using the actual jog dial as well as the different buttons that we have here. Uh, two IR remote controls uh, options here in case your system does require it. A USB-C to USB Type-A connector to be able to be used with this adapter to charge the remote. And of course, to be also be able to use the USB-C to power up the actual, uh, I guess that this will be the base unit that essentially is the brains of the entire uh, system. Lastly, of course, we have the instruction manual for the X1 Smart Remote. So starting off with the remote itself, we have a few buttons, volume up, volume down, a channel up, channel down, mute, and of course, back, play, pause, and forward home, back, and uh, obviously recents, these are the Android buttons, a jog dial that we're able to basically control, move up and down. And here, this is a spin dial that we're able to use. We have a back button here that enables us to go back and you can see the different systems that we have configured. And of course, the off button to be able to turn off whatever system you're using. Uh, the ability of just going from the main activities here to devices and of course setting devices just takes us back to where we have. As I mentioned to you guys, this is powered by a USB-C cable, non-removable battery, and it is essentially a very nice ergonomic remote. Uh, pretty decent size as far as actually it's a longer remote than standard ones, but again, it's intended to replace a lot. Uh, just for reference, this is my remote for my Samsung TV, and you can pretty much see exactly how much longer it is. And it's not that much wider, but of course, we have a display on this one. Now, when it comes down to the hub itself, there's not a lot of things to do. You notice it's missing some of the footing here. Again, this is a pre-production unit. Yours should be pretty much very, very well nicely packaged, as well as everything is included. There's a couple of screws here, option to be able to mount it directly to your wall. Uh, there is a light or an LED light that's present here that turns uh, to the different settings that you're on if you're in pairing mode. If it is on and connected to the Wi-Fi, you're pretty much set to green. Last but not least, this is essentially where you need to point out if, let's say, you're trying to train uh, one of the functions from your standard remote directly into the uh, X1, you would need to basically point it into this position. That's why we have that there. And of course, we have the Silver Tone name right there. Now, when it comes down to the ports on the back, we notice there's one and two for the two different adapters that we have in there, a USB-C connection to be able to power it up. And last but not least is the pairing button that we need to press and hold when you're setting it up for the first time. Once it's set, it's pretty easy. You just power it on, connect it, and put it to the side. Now, the instruction manual pretty much covers everything that we can can do here. Uh, overall, the application that you need to download is the Sofa Baton application. Currently, unfortunately, this is the version that I have is not available on the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. But once it is available, uh, you'll basically be greeted with the U1 or the X1. The X1 obviously is the one that we're going to be looking into. And you can see here the instructions on how to set it up, set up your account, log in, and of course, start setting up the different functionalities and the different options. Uh, we are going to be able to actually use it on our smartphone as a separate remote and i'll share with you guys some of those examples and of course you can just keep going through and as i mentioned to you guys at the beginning this is how you do manual pairing so if you're teaching it a function that is not currently available in the app you can teach it directly and add it as an actual functionality very simple and very easy. Now, as I mentioned to you guys at the beginning, the purpose of this remote is to replace other remotes that we have. Now, obviously we have way more than this. You may have a remote for your TV, a remote for your, let's say cable box, also a remote for your Android TV, a sound bar, a whole bunch of different remotes that you can use. And we should be able to do a lot of that with this remote and actually make it so that it becomes a one remote type of experience. Now for this to happen, you do need to download the Sofa Baton application. I am running an early access app. That's how I'm gonna be able to get these options as I shared with you guys. If you download it directly from the Google Play Store, you're pretty much just gonna be able to see the U1. Connecting it is pretty simple. Once you configure it, it'll automatically connect the hub itself to the Wi-Fi, and then you should be able to find it. And then from there on, you're able to log in. I'm not gonna do the update now, just to kind of give it a second. Uh, keep in mind again, uh, what I have right now is pre-production hardware. Um, I've configured it to work with my Samsung TV because I actually have a few Samsung TVs in the house and I find that it actually works quite nicely with all of them. You just have to program one and it works very nicely. Um, I paired it via Bluetooth connected to my NVIDIA Shield so it works as a Bluetooth connector so it's not always just going to be IR. Last but not least, I've also tried setting up with my Spectrum TV although I did have some challenges there. 
Now, let's go ahead and talk about Samsung and see what we can do. Overall, if you just click it in the smartphone itself, you're able to control a lot of the functionalities that you get with the regular remote. And what I mean by this is, this is typically what I have on my standard Samsung remote. But now with this, I actually have almost all of these on top of the fact that I have a dial pad and all of the other shortcuts that I'm able to launch. And the good thing about this is I can actually mimic them now on the app. So here, if I jump over to my Samsung, now, for the most part, if I want to be able to control additional functions that are not on display, like these guys, the buttons and all the other options, you notice that it starts off with the number. I can actually just scroll down. I can keep going. And now you see all of the other options that we have in here. Uh, one of the options, obviously, is the ability to jumping into menu, input changing, uh, changing the, uh, you know, basically switching input menu section. Uh, we can jump into movie, multi-link, uh, I guess multi-link, I'm not sure what that is. And muting the audio, navigation down, navigation up, in case you want to go through the UI. Although keep in mind, you are able to use the directional pad here. Uh, we are not able to control this screen with this directional. This is intended for the unit that you're controlling. And with this one is what we use to be able to go through. So you notice here I have power on, power off, record, and so on. Um, I can go back by clicking the actual back button at the top, not in there. And then of course, switch over to, let's say I wanna be able to use the Nvidia Shield. All I have to do is swipe down and I hope you guys can see that there is a slight, small selection here. I select that, give it a second. It's gonna pair directly over Bluetooth to my Nvidia Shield. And once it's connected, it'll take me directly into the menu. There is a little bit of a delay because again, it's trying to connect via Bluetooth. So this is a Bluetooth accessory right now on my Nvidia Shield. So the experience that we're getting here is pretty much based on the hub as well as the remote itself. The brains of the entire thing, meaning the way we communicate with the remote is through the hub. The hub by itself is already paired to the remote and we access it via uh, basically Wi-Fi. Once you set it up and you set up an account, you're able to connect to it over Wi-Fi and then find the different services, the different functionalities. Um, I did try to use it with my Spectrum TV, but for some reason it wasn't running um, correctly. Like it wasn't actually configuring it to run with the box that I have. And it could just be because of the box that I have myself. The big benefit with the X1 is the ability of controlling multiple devices. And not only that, it's actually smart enough that it can actually have even more things added later on. The benefit of having the application set up here and the hub is that that's basically how the interface is going to happen. You need to log into the app, set up an account, configure it and have it connect to your Wi-Fi. And once you have that, all you need to do is load up the app, go in, add the functionalities that you want, uh, teach the hub to learn whatever you need. And you have to keep in mind that wherever you're trying to use the X1, the hub needs to be in that, in, uh, in that vicinity. It doesn't necessarily have to be a line of sight, but it has to be around it because the hub essentially is the brains of the entire thing. Um, the benefit, of course, is the ability of switching. I'm not having to use my NVIDIA Shield TV, uh, my Samsung TV, or even having to use, let's say, an Xbox uh, media remote if you want to use it like that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that you're also able to use your smartphone uh, to control the TV. So let's say you don't want to even pick up the remote. You can actually get all of those things configured and done directly out of your smartphone because the functionalities and the menus for the different devices are also structured the same within the app. Uh, the last thing I will say is because we use the X1 to control our smart TV that has uh, Netflix, Hulu, uh, HBO Max, all of the smart applications we typically like, uh, it actually becomes one remote to control everything there. I don't have to worry about picking up that remote. So that's really the main benefit there. Uh, you can move it with you. It's easy to take. It uh, doesn't really require a very strong power source. It's, again, very easily charged. Uh, and again, keep in mind, for the remote itself, you do need to charge it with the adapter that they provide you because for some reason, if you give it too much power, it actually doesn't charge the battery. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, the package, I feel like, is well-inclusive. Uh, instruction information is really nice. And the app that I shared with you guys today on my phone is an early access app, so it's not available on the Google Play Store. But hopefully, once uh, they start shipping out the units, you guys will be able to actually start downloading this app and checking it out for yourself. I'd like to say thank you very much to Sofa Baton for allowing me to check out the X1 Smart Remote. This is truly going to be the center of my entertainment or my smart entertainment experience, and it gets better with time. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual, and I'll see you in the next video.